what's up people it's og right here and it's good to have you all right so if you're coming across my channel for the first time please guys do remember to subscribe click on the notification bell so that youtube will notify you anytime i make a new upload all right so aisha yosufu in case you're not familiar with aisha yosufu aisha yosufu is a nigerian activist who has been very very outspoken about her stand in terms of bad governance in nigeria yeah, she was also a co-founder during in 2014 during the Bring Back Our Girls movement, yes, which brought attention to the abduction of those girls. And she was also involved in the end SARS protest against police brutality. So she has been very, very active in terms of condemning all those bad activities of Nigerian government. All right. Recently, she has been doing a lot to involve Nigerian youth in politics, of which I am telling you, she is really achieving a lot. Yes, so many Nigerian youths are involved in politics, not just because of Aisha or anything. It's because it has, we have yearned for this for a very long time. But on her part, she is doing a great job in bringing people in. All right, so recently she made a clip which I'm going to play for you. But let me say this first. This Nigeria that we hope to see is a Nigeria where healthcare system is there and also affordable for everybody, no matter where you are. Where youths are employed after schools is a Nigeria where politicians are held responsible for the things they do wrong is a Nigeria where um, police, military men, any uniformed people are held responsible, where they know that their duty is to protect the citizens and not to, 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 to manipulate and brutalize them, harass them anyhow. We want a peaceful Nigeria, a Nigeria where we can say that this, we can afford to do thing. In Nigeria, where the economy is working, I don't know about you, but the fact is that if you and me don't do anything, we are heading nowhere. That's why I am doing my own in my little space, telling people, you really need to come out for this. This is in Nigeria we want. And I believe that we are going to achieve this through Obidati. Yes, I'm not saying that other candidates are not capable or something, but the truth is that among all these candidates, Peter Obi is the most credible. There's no question about it. Okay, come to think of it. Those other candidates, how many times have you heard them talk about the economy of Nigeria? Do they even know that Nigeria is in a deep economical crisis? Talk more of knowing how to handle it. I don't think so. Well, guys, you be the judge. Don't forget to leave in the comment section what you think and the kind of Nigeria you want to see in the future. All right, so here is Aisha speak. The labor to birth a new Nigeria is on all of us. Every one of us, we must put our all into building the Nigeria and getting the Nigeria that we want to see. We cannot just leave it only to politicians and assume that when they get into office, they will know what we want. We've done that several times before. At the end of the day, we all suffered for it. The time has come for you and I, every one of us, to begin to put down the things that we want to see. What kind of Nigeria do you want to see? Is it that you want a new constitution? Is it that you want a restructured Nigeria? And how do you want it restructured? Is it that you want reform of the system? reform of a lot of sectors. Is it that you want civil service reform? What is it? What is the plan you have for education? What do you want to see in medicine? What do you want to see with the youth? What kind of nation do you want to see? The time has come for us to put it in a document, the citizen's agenda document. Let's curate all of our thoughts and have a proper document that will make our politicians sign so that we'll have a social contract and something that will hold them onto and say, these are the things we signed for as we go into the 2023 election. 
Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That's what they say, right? And so we must not continue to do the things that we've done before because it hasn't given us the Nigeria that we want. Now that we, we have a Nigeria that we are so focused on that we want to have, we have to do things in an unusual manner. It's no longer business as usual. It's now business unusual. You and I must come together. All right, guys. So you've heard it all, and I'm sure you will keep hearing it. It is left for you and I to do our own part. The little time you have, use it to campaign for a better Nigeria. There is nothing you do that is little. No matter what it is, nothing is little. I've seen so many people campaigning in different ways and really uh, <laughs> it gives me joy. <laughs> yeah, And it encourages me to do more in my own little space. All right, guys. So this is it for this video. Please do remember to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I make a new upload. All right. See you in the next video.